So as reaction continue to drill prophets suddenly to AI, okay, saw this video by Joel where he hinted that he had shown interest to future in prophets suddenly theory. And I really hope, honestly, I really hope the windows will not acknowledge that request. But my brothers in faith, the windows and his beautiful wife, they are telling the movies prophet suddenly. Meanwhile, I'm going to be in part three by God's grace. I'm joking, it's not confirmed. I told him he should audition me. Then they commented that my audition begins today. I'm still waiting. I'm joking, but now, let's be serious. I saw prophets saying that's an attack on the prophetic. How will someone exposing falsehood be an attack on truth? Truth is undisturbed. Truth is unmoved. Truth has rest. If you are troubled by ordinary prophets suddenly, What will happen if I begin to enter into my dimensions again? <laughs> I'm married, so I say I should relax a little. I'm the war, I'm the fight, but I'm not in the boss. I'm not in the boss. <laughs> See, truth rejoices in truth. The true prophetic doesn't pay people to act. So why are you saying this? An attack on what type of prophetic? Hey, we are the circumcision that worships God in the spirit. We have no confidence in the flesh. We rejoice evermore in the Holy Ghost. We are that circumcision. A film that should make you happy is just like Elijah taunting the prophets of Baal through that film. Now look at the stress you guys are going to through to fake what you are doing. That's what the true prophet should be seeing. Taunting the prophets of Baal. Say, it's an attack on the prophetic. Very soon, we too will do apostle suddenly to also get back. That's a thief and a robber speaking. If you like, do apostle suddenly, reverend suddenly, bishop suddenly, truth is undisturbed. Meanwhile, meanwhile, if we are to take away Aroma Sai from that movie and look at this movie critically, you discover that these people are actually telling what is happening in the society. I, for a person, have experienced this kind of thing that we are told in this story, real life. Okay, so, supposing that Robert Sai was not in this movie, I can tell you for sure, would have just considered this as one of those movies, one of those Christian movies. And honestly speaking, one of the reasons I guess to fear why people are constantly deceived by this so-called prophetic ministry is because we these days don't have Christians that are willing to sit down and study the scriptures. And to even make matters worse, a lot of persons that are into such kind of prophetic move, prophetic ministry. Don't even get to give these people the true word of God. That is the only way you can grow. But of course, when the likes of us start to talk about these things like this, you might not take our word for what it is. You know, and that is why I, I saw this video from Prophet Makandiwa, which I wanted to see. Though it's an old video, but I believe it's timely. And I begin to wonder, I haven't seen this video, will, someone, will people also say, that uh, Makandiwa is actually against the prophetic. God seems to be very, very concerned with the way that the church has lost its light to a point where there is more light in the world than in the church. Now, of course, where you are talking about more lights in the world than in the church, it's not literally like the light of God. Okay, as you be as he will be explaining for that. And this is just him trying to say people in the world are more enlightened and even very difficult to be deceived by the so-called prophetic movement and by so-called you know false teachings that flies in the church, that flies around in the church. Unlike when we have in the church whereby people are easily deceived. Alright, and this is all because they are not fed with the true word of God. So let's continue. There is more light. There is seem to be more light in the world than in the church. So the restoration of light is our mandate this year. I to sit down physically, not in the spirit, physically, to see prophecies concerning the world people are busy dishing out prophecies that are far from prophecy
go and go and go and find out what prophets are saying it should never be said by prophets it's not in the category of prophecies it's not it's not God said to me, this is why reasonable people have stopped coming into my house. Because people representing me have proven to be unreasonable. There is more darkness in church than in the world. Outside people are more enlightened. And of course, this is one of the reasons why it is more easier to deceive so-called people, so-called Christians in the church, man, than it is for people in the world. I mean, people in the world will see the kind of things that goes on and they say, do these people actually have brain to reason? Meanwhile, on the contrary, it is supposed to be we that are of the light should be able to be even more enlightened because we are properly taught. But that is not the case. What we are considering, we are celebrating as prophecy now. A prophet is coming out. Prophets, many, it's not one. Go and find out. Many in there copying each other. Copying each other. This one says that. Says in the, in the, you hear prophecy like technology is going to increase. There will be serious technology. Where is this guy staying? Do you think serious people are ever going to come to church? Is this what we have become as the church? I'm seeing in the spirit very soon we won't be using these, these, these cards in the banks. It's going to be something technological. Say, where are you staying? You yourself, you, are, you feel it's a, it's a prophecy and everyone needs to know and write it down. Why are we so hungry for prophecy? Why are we so desperate for prophecy? I see a prominent figure dying. And of course, even though he didn't get to act the likes of, you know, this issue of prominent figure dying, we've got to see Passion Java coming to talk about prominent figure. Even, you know, our dear prophet, Prophet Hubert Angel, you know, he is one person that is known for always constantly prophesying about football. When does this become truly a prophecy? I mean, someone predicting football, you know. We have a lot of sites out there that can actually predict what becomes an outcome of a football, and they will be. 100% accurate. Now, not that I am actually against word of knowledge, but it's a good thing that this is coming from Prophet Makandiwa. And anyone that dies who is prominent, Prophet what? Prophet. I turn it on to call him here, right? But he's <laughs> quite funny and straight. Almost dead, they are sick. And he told me, this is the reason why my body, reasonable people, can no longer come. Because people represent, that's why I was talking about a light that foreruns the light. Unless you are a light, you cannot forerun the light. Now, because some realize that, oh, something happened last time. Have you seen how many prophecies were given concerning a disease now? Every prophet is trying to make sure he includes also a disease. There's some kind of a disease that is coming. <laughs> Cover every area. But I tell you the truth, slowly but surely, as this light increases, you'll notice. I'm telling you this, even as prophets, mature people, spiritual people, are going to lose desire for such things. People are going to look for 
an authentic word from God and manifestations of his glory. The ITA realized this, they're better for every one of us and the, that is just the only way we can easily check out what all of these false, you know, false prophecies, false prophets, fake practices from the body of Christ is when we start seeking out for the genuine word of God. You know, the truth is this, those who are engaging in these false practices, they cannot give you the genuine word that gives life. So when you see people truly seeking out for what God can offer, I mean, you will know where to find it, and it will not be in one of these the houses of these charlatans. Now, you might not agree with this, or might have um, a different opinion, but the truth still remains the same. It is the word of God that we that builds a people. Paul speaking in his writing, he says, "Therefore, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of His grace." which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance. Do you realize that those prophets, those pastors that even get to perform miracles, even the genuine ones, what they have simply is prayer and the word of the Lord. It is true that some of them we are called for some of the assignments you get to see them do, but the empowerment which they receive is as a result of them giving themselves to the word and to prayer and this is what what i realized at the time when i was in school you know i was passing through some challenges at that time i was hearing some voices speaks to me okay and i needed to come out of that experience you know over the series of nights i would wake up you know something just wake up wake me up in the middle of the night around 12 consistently for days and keep suggesting things to my ear you know, at the time I, I was at that time I was, you know, fully born again. I was contemplating should I go and meet a brother to pray for me and cast out that demon. And at the, at the time I was like, it is the same word of God which I have been studying and the same prayer that I've been praying that this brother will also use to prefer solution. And so I resolved to stay with the word, you know, and stay in the place of prayer. And I began to search. And not long ago, and not long. Now, not long, the Holy Spirit directed me to a book. And through that book, I read, I interpreted scriptures, I used scriptures. And before you know it, those suggestions was checked out for me. You know, whether you like it or not, I think if there's, not, is there, if there's anything you should get from this video, it is a call that we really need to reduce our dependence on pastors, preachers for anything spiritual. I understand the Lord has given to us pastors, but you must understand the essence of God given to us pastors is so that we might come, we might be built up to the unity of faith, which is in Christ Jesus. The essence of God giving pastors over us, giving prophets over us, is not so that they will continue to lord over us, or to continue to give us crumbs is so that at a point in time we should have been able we should be able to grow up to a point of maturity whereby we ourselves can become saviors but when you get to see a lot of persons you know come to our comment session give some kind of reaction especially when you are criticizing some falsehood or false practices just like we, we, we see in the case of prophet suddenly i mean you, we know clearly that what is being acted, what was acted in Prophet suddenly, are realities. Instead of the church, you know, people to rejoice that, come on, we have people that are bold to confront darkness. But what you get to see is people revolting, rebelling, and saying that that movie is an attack on the body of Christ. And I begin to ask, do you truly understand what it means to be the body of Christ? What the body of Christ actually means, or what it means to be a prophet? All these things are issues that are rooted fundamentally in the fact that a lot of Christians are not taught in the genuine world of life. Okay, so the emphasis of this video by Prophet Makandiwa is a need to have a graduation from just additional prophecies and gathering crowds that all, the, all, all what the crowd needs is just prophecy to a crowd that will be fed with the word of the law.